Hello, I am Marianne Davies, and I'd like to give you a brief overview of my article, New Modalities of Cancer Treatment for Non-Small Cell Lung Cancer, Focus on Immunotherapy. In this article, I review new immune-based strategies that are being developed for the treatment of lung cancer, which differ from conventional anti-cancer therapies. Chemotherapy and targeted agents act directly on the tumor. Most targeted agents inactivate mutated proteins that give growth advantage to the tumor. Erlotinib and afatinib inhibit the EGF receptor tyrosine kinase, and crizotinib inhibits the ELK kinase activity to prevent growth signaling. Bevacizumab binds VEGF secreted by the tumor, stopping blood vessel formation and starving the tumor. Tumors can dampen the body's natural immune response, and immunotherapies are designed to increase the patient's own immune response to the tumor. One approach is the use of tumor antigen vaccines. Many vaccines for lung cancer have reached the phase two or three trial stage of development. Another approach to counteract tumor-mediated immunosuppression is the use of immune checkpoint inhibitors. Immune checkpoint pathways are used by the immune system to slow down or prevent T cell responses. Two of these pathways that have been the most heavily studied are the CTLA-4 and PD-1 pathways. The immune checkpoint inhibitors under clinical study today are designed to prevent signaling through these pathways to restore anti-tumor responses. When CTLA-4 on a T cell binds its ligand on an antigen-presenting cell, the T cell becomes deactivated and does not mount an immune response to the tumor. However, in the presence of an anti-CTLA-4 immune checkpoint inhibitor, CTLA-4 is prevented from binding its ligand and the T cell becomes activated. This T cell can now participate in an anti-cancer immune response. Similarly, when PD-1 on a T cell binds its ligand on the tumor, the T cell becomes deactivated. However, in the presence of an anti-PD-1 immune checkpoint inhibitor, PD-1 is prevented from binding its ligand and the T cell becomes activated and can release cytolytic molecules to kill the tumor. One anti-CTLA-4 immune checkpoint inhibitor Ipilimumab is approved for the treatment of advanced melanoma and has shown anti-cancer activity in phase two trials of lung cancer. There are several PD-1 pathway agents in development, some targeting PD-1 and others targeting one of its ligands, PD-L1. Nivolumab, a fully human anti-PD-1 immune checkpoint inhibitor, has reported the most data to date and shows promising activity in lung cancer. Healthcare providers should be aware that in addition to traditional responses, unconventional treatment responses have been observed with immunotherapies. These are likely due to the immune mechanisms of action and include delayed responses or a decreased tumor burden after an initial increase. Also side effects seen with immune checkpoint inhibitors include adverse events that may be immune related in nature. These select AEs may require more frequent monitoring and or unique intervention. Dermatologic, gastrointestinal, and endocrine AEs are among the most commonly reported. Although most are low grade, select AEs can occur with rapid onset and prompt medical attention is critical to their management. In the article, I provide some key strategies that have been used for management of these AEs in clinical studies. To conclude, my article provides an overview of the exciting immunotherapies that are in development for lung cancer.